FreedomMunitions.com. Your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This danger zone. Who was the big bear? A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. Feral hogs have been a problem for landowners for years in many parts of the country. And anyone who's ever seen the damage that they can cause knows that they damage habitat at an alarming rate. Over the years, I've hunted feral hogs just about every way imaginable, and I'm still amazed at how prolific these animals are. Feral hogs are smart too, and once you put the hunting pressure on them, they really get smart. Most of the time, feral hog movement is best for the hunter in low light conditions, as hogs tend to become more vulnerable under the cover of darkness. That's why more hunters, landowners, and land managers are turning to night vision and thermal vision equipment to reduce the numbers of feral hogs. You've seen us use night vision and thermal equipment on our shows before, and we've had some incredibly successful hunts. The equipment that we use is made by Armasite, and it's the most technologically advanced thermal and night vision equipment on the market today. From military applications, to nighttime surveillance, to hunting, there's something in the Armasite product line that'll help you get the job done if the job requires seeing under the cover of darkness. I've used both night vision and thermal equipment on a variety of different firearms and always enjoy being able to take hunting to the next level and I still can't believe how effective these products are for the nighttime hunter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mount a thermal unit on top of this crossbow. Uh, the thermal unit easily and quickly attaches to any Picatinny rail system, whether it's on a crossbow like this or whether you have it on an AR style rifle. Uh, make sure you just get your eye relief set up correctly. Once you find the spot for your proper eye relief, position it on the rail, then attach it on. It's that simple. Now what we need to do is get it sighted in. I'll put my target about 20 yards in front of me and I'll make sure and have a big backstop on my first shot for sure to make sure I'm not sending an arrow if I miss into the wild blue yonder. You'll notice I have a piece of tin foil that I have taped on the target. The reason for tin foil because the thermal vision unit reads the heat off the tin foil and you can see it very easily in the unit. This particular unit has a little short rail on the side. The purpose is to mount a DVR recording unit. What I'll do is I will just attach it to the side on this little rail, and I'm going to plug the end of it right here in the unit itself. Next, we'll turn it on by pressing this button right here. We're going to turn on our record deck and what you'll be able to see is exactly what I'm looking at through the thermal unit itself. The cool thing I like about this unit is I like shooting it on white hot, which it's set on right now, but you can adjust it to black hot or any different setting that you'd like simply by going through the menu buttons up here on top. Now, what I like to do too, the focus on this particular unit is right here, and you will notice that I can change the focus by just turning it. Okay, when you take a look also, you'll notice that black spot down there, that's the piece of tin foil. That right there is our target. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cock it, and we're gonna take a shot. All right, we 
We're gonna load her up, take careful aim. Look at that. As you can see, I shot about seven inches left and about an inch high. All right, so here's how we're gonna make an adjustment now. We're gonna go into the menu. I can scroll through when I hit Boresight, Enter, and at this point, you can see in the bottom, I've got Windage Elevation. What I wanna do, I'm going to get the crosshairs exactly where I want the arrow to hit. I'm gonna hold it there, adjust the crosshair over to where the arrow hit. Now I did it to the left. Now I'm going to raise it up a bit, right there. And then you exit the menu. We're gonna cock it, shoot one more time, and it should be dead on. That's how easy it is to sight in a crossbow with a thermal device. Coming up next, we head to South Texas on a hog hunt. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx. 10X high performance hunting gear. Record rack deer and elk feed. Burt Coyote's Luminoc. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Tannerite. And Bloodsport, the bleeding edge of archery. The High Road will be right back. This crossbow is made by Dart and it's the Toxin 180. It has a compact tactical stock and high energy limb system. It'll send a 400 grain arrow downrange at 400 feet per second. This crossbow has Darton's patented dual sync cam system and the short overall length makes the 18 inch power stroke easy to cock. And it features a Picatinny rail up on top, which is perfect for mounting either a scope, which the package crossbow comes with a scope, or a thermal unit like what we have here. Earlier I showed you how to mount the thermal unit on top of the crossbow and get it sighted in. If you missed that, you may want to go to my YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos. Make sure and check it out and subscribe. Now it's time to get serious. I'm going to introduce you to my daughter Maddie, who is a veteran crossbow shooter. And I'm going to let her take a few shots with this piece of equipment. And then we're going to head to the field. I've been around crossbows pretty much my whole life and I started shooting them around the age of six or seven. And I like them so much because I used to be scared of rifles. I attribute me hunting to the crossbow. It was the perfect tool to get me into it. It wasn't loud, it didn't kick, and it made me love it. It made me love hunting. But now I shoot everything, but the crossbow, it still holds a dear place in my heart. Crossbows are really fun to hunt with because you get the best of both worlds. They're kind of set up like a rifle, but they also have the, all the aspects of archery hunting with a compound bow. This crossbow is set up a little different. It's got a thermal unit on it, and I've used thermal before, but never on a crossbow. So this will be real fun. I've taken quite a few shots with this now, and it was fun, but now I'm ready to head to the field. This is my favorite time of the year. It's really green, there's colorful flowers. It's starting to get warm down here in South Texas. And we're at one of my favorite places, Great Texas Hunts. They just set up a new blind. We're the first people to sit here and they say there's a ton of hogs, but I believe them, because look at this. They've been rubbing up against here, itching themselves, I guess. And we've got a great setup over here. You'll see we've got a Reconyx camera about 20 yards out with some corn around there. There's great wind, so we're hoping we can make some magic. If you're at the right place, there's hogs everywhere. They're all over each other and it's hard to get a clear shot. And since this crossbow is so powerful, it'll be really hard to make sure that one's away from all the others. 
okay, good. What I want you to do let's pick one out. The problem is, if you're not careful, you're going to shoot more than one with one shot. Yeah. Okay, the one on the far right, are you on him? Yeah, okay, now slide it on fire now. Go ahead. Put it on fire. There you go. All right, now just wait. Okay, his head behind that one, right? Yeah. The one on the far right. Yes. Okay, he's clear now. Are you ready? Okay. Anytime you're ready. That was perfect. Let's give it a minute and we'll go out there and see what you got. That was nice. What do you think about that setup? Oh, this is perfect. My two favorite things combined. I couldn't be happier. This is a really good hog. He's perfect eating size. He's not too big. He's not too small. He's kind of rough looking. That's good. But I love this. I'm so excited because I came home for Easter break and my dad was like, so I have a surprise for you. We're gonna go night vision hog hunting with thermal, which I'm used to. But then he said, we're gonna do it on the crossbow, which I got super pumped for because I've never done this before. It's a cool combo. They're my two favorite things. And I think there's a promising future for both of them. The cool thing about this is that hogs come out at night. They're usually pretty smart. So if you have a place with a lot of hogs and you never see them during the day, you need to invest in some of this equipment. That's pretty good shot placement right behind the shoulder and he only went about 50 yards. My shot was only about 20 yards out, but I could not find my arrow. And that's because the crossbow technologies have evolved so much. They're so fast and powerful, it's crazy. So I lost my arrow, but I was using a Bloodsport arrow with a Gravedigger broadhead. So it was a great combo. If you're wondering where I'm hunting, I'm at Great Texas Hunts, and I've been here a lot lately. I love it. It truly is great. They've got everything. They've got whitetail. They've got lots of hogs. They have turkeys. It's perfect. I'm Maddie Warren, and The High Road will be right back. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, Nemo Arms, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, BSA Optics, Camo Adult Precision Air Rifles, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back.